John here guys and today we're talking about some FPV RC in a big way because this is the WL Toys 104311 RC crawler. Now this is a gigantic one tenth scale. crawler it comes with this cool little radio right here with a soft grip on the wheel um, this is powered by four to blaze before I forget let's put the radio aside and talk about this bad boy look how big this thing is let's check out these monstrous tires Ooh, with these cool tread grippy it comes in this huge box check this box out man uh, it is 4x4, four four, four wheel drive, it is for off-road, it is for desert, it is for rocks and mountains. I'm not really sure about the mountains part, that may be a slight exaggeration on WL Toys part, but this is really cool. It's not the fastest thing, but it is ready to run. It goes 15 kilometers per hour, which in miles per hour, I don't know, what is that, like 10? I don't know. Um, so let's kind of go over some of the notable things about this and you heard right guys check out the totally awesome led headlights and light bar now it's going to flash as long as the radio is not connected but if i connect the radio by turning this on those will go a solid colors check out the listen to this Ooh, four wheel drive power. Now, you did hear me say FPV RC, um, and that is because before I even drove this thing an inch, I made sure to hook up an FPV system on board because the last time I did the smaller WL Toys K989, a lot of people noted that I promised I was gonna be putting FPV on that and I am very, very soon, guys, don't worry, but I didn't wanna make that same mistake, so I did that before I even drove it. So this has an FPV system on board. Now, I tried a couple of things in order to get this FPV system working. I did note that the light bar up on top has a couple of power and ground wires going straight to it. So my initial idea was I'll take those uh, off and wire it up to my video transmitter. For this, I was gonna use an AKK race. That's a very cheap $9 video transmitter. It comes with the antenna that is on here. Actually, it does not. I put that separately. Um, and the power output was not right to power it. I couldn't get it to work. I tried all combinations. I thought the camera might've been broken. Now I am using a premium camera for this. Now this truck, Jeep, is $99, a regular price. Right now you can find it on sale for as low as $85 for this entire kit, including the battery and everything. Really cool. Uh, so this is a premium camera though. This is like a $37 camera. It is the Foxy or Falcor 2, but it is red and I really wanted it to match perfectly and get the cleanest image of my eyeballs while I'm driving this around FPV style with some fat shark goggles. Uh, and so what I ended up doing was just hooking a little XT30 connector onto the input power and ground for this. Now this video transmitter is only rated for five volts. And I'm using a two cell battery on here. This is the same kind of two cell battery that I would typically use on a toothpick like my Diatone Cube 229. Um, this is a 520 milliamp 2S G and B pack. Um, and so all I did was get some electrical tape and just tape it to the side there and it can provide power. Even though this is putting out like seven and a half volts, it did not pop this whatsoever. I drove it for a good 10 minutes at a time. So I think it's relatively safe, but your mileage may vary. If I were to do this over again, I would find a video transmitter that could take full voltage, but this worked just fine. Now, the video transmitter had power and ground output as well, so I used that in order to power this Foxier Falcor camera. And so I took those three wires, attached on a little camera connector, 
And uh, then I just zip tied that to this front roll cage and that is it. This thing is so fun. It's not the fastest RC car in the world, but the suspension is so beefy and these tires are so thick and rubbery that you can pretty much jump over any curves. You can jump over flower beds. You can go through the mud, through the grass. And uh, the light on this, I'll, I'll show some footage. The light on this is so bright with the headlights and the light bar. Um, that you can actually FPV in the dark. It is enough light to see in front of you as if you were in a real Jeep with real working headlights and light bar. Really awesome. This is a ton of fun. Um, and this also, if you know, has a little luggage rack at the top. That's perfect for mounting your FPV system, but look how much room I still have left. So what I think I'm gonna do is use this as a deployment to launch a tiny drone, like maybe my Tiny Hawk 2, put it right up here, drive it out, and then switch radio, switch channels on my video goggles, and then boom, I can take off. Really fun. Um, I could use this to drive my uh, FPV racing quadcopter over to the start line um, <laughs> so that I don't even have to get up to put my quad out and just launch straight off of this. Uh, should I do it, guys? Should I do it? I don't know if I'm gonna do that in this video, but maybe in a future video. Um, golly, this thing is so big, so nice. It has a two cell uh, battery that is on board, is an 18650 paired setup in there. It lasts for a very long time. Um, you know, us FPV pilots, we're only used to flying for like two or three minutes. Or, and if you're taking it light, maybe up to five or six. So anything beyond 10 minutes, I just kind of start to get bored. So this goes at least that long. Um, I did finally run it out after two sessions, run the battery out and it just kind of stops. And then you just put it in, it comes with a little charger that you plug that connector up into. It's some sort of weird hobby connector, but you could easily chop that, put an XT30, and I am a little bit curious to know if the electronics in this could handle a three cell LiPo. That's right, 3S. Uh, I may try that at some point to see if I can get a little more power, you know, rah, 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 rah. Uh, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that um, just yet. It does have two motors, one at the front, one at the back uh, for the four wheel drive, and it has a beefy little servo up here to handle your steering back and forth. The steering is actually pretty good, uh, you know, and then it has these independent um, little shocks, uh, strut things, and they really work. It's a very simple setup. I mean, you, you realize there are cars that are this size that can go much faster that probably cost 10 times more than this, but for a fraction of that, you really get a tremendous amount of performance, a tremendous amount of fun. And by integrating this cheap, inexpensive FPV system, I can really take this almost anywhere and have a great time with this. I love that I can pass this to anybody who doesn't know how to fly a quad. Almost anybody can race an RC car and they can have some low speed FPV fun, experience FPV for the first time. Um, just to run down on the FPV system, this camera again costs thirty five dollars forty five if you add the video transmitter and the batteries maybe another seven so you know fifty bucks ish you could really reduce that down to about twenty five bucks if you went with some cheaper cameras like maybe a Runcam Nano two would work totally fine uh, that would bring the cost down quite a bit and you could probably go with an even more inexpensive uh, 2s battery I think these are only like seven or eight bucks anyway though so it's fairly inexpensive already. Uh, what do you guys think in the comments? I got quite a bit of footage here for you on this thing. Uh, I'm really glad I asked to do a little bit more FPV RC and I'm glad that I wired this up FPV style before I even took it out. Now look how much room you have on the hood. Look how much room you have on the luggage rack. You can very easily mount up an action camera if you wanted to go you know, scope some things out. That really wasn't my goal for this. I wanted FPV and so that's what I've done here. But just for anybody that is interested in having an action camera, there is so much room to mount it up here. You could even mount it um, right here in front of this little um, bumper right here. And I've taken some spills with this thing. It has held up very well. Uh, and this, you know, even the thin body of this thing has held up to some crashes. You can know uh, some of the really accurate things. It has some door handles on there, has these rear view mirrors. 
Um, it even has this little uh, snorkel, <laughs> this cool little snorkel air intake, you know, so it could really go through some high waters. I don't know if I recommend going through high waters with this thing, uh, but I don't know. So what do you think in the comments? The circuit board for this thing is very simple. It has three little plugs for the lights to go in. And again, I had planned to power the FPV system off of that. It didn't really work out, but this ended up being a very simple solution that didn't take up really any more space. This battery fit right on the edge of this luggage rack so perfectly. It's almost like it was meant to be there. Uh, what do you think, guys? This is cheaper than your average racing quad, and it's so so much fun i can't wait to get a few more adventures under my belt with this setup uh what do you think in the comments guys <laughs> if we all get grounded is everybody gonna move to fpbrc and then check out very very soon i'm gonna be creating an identical fpv setup just like this for that wl toys k989 small car and that thing is actually much faster than this bigger thing uh what a what an awesome uh, job that WL Toys is doing on the RC car space. I know a lot of those guys uh, are really wanting to get into FPV. So if you are on this channel for the first time, you want to get curious about FPV, here's how to do it on your RC car and then take the next step. Maybe go buy a beginner drone. I have plenty of videos for that. Thanks guys.